statutory requirement to have an AGM. So we had the AGM for 2014. Um, and that means all the director's reports and board reports were presented to the meeting and accepted. Particularly the accounts, the audited accounts for the year were presented and accepted by the shareholders at the meeting. Um, and that's the main statutory requirement of, of an AGM. And then we move into the issues that were raised by the members. And uh, there are, I think, seven or eight motions submitted to the meetings, which was obviously discussed. Um, one of them was, do we want to set up our own processing plant? Um, and the answer to that is, at the minute, no, we don't, because we're committed to this milk separation process. Um, and we are negotiating to get a good deal for the farmers through that, through that process. Um, second motion that was brought up, uh, what's happened to the investment of the New Zealand government in the Fiji dairy industry? And it's interesting, John Key is in the country this morning, and I'm sure this was discussed. This is a big investment in the Fiji dairy industry. And uh, it's got delayed by um, processes in New Zealand, which is meant it should have been implemented um, last year, but it will now be implemented this year, towards late this year. And I know that there has been progress just recently on the implementation of that. Having said that, the farmers have already got uh, improved chilling centre facilities and uh, uh, some tractors that they can use for pasture development. 